It's your boy, Professor Pippi. Back in this bitch trying to drop another video. Damn, nigga, back up off the mic. Why you all up in the mic? My bad, bro. I'm sure. Oh, just coming with uh, another weekly, midweek recap. Um, GJ been me up this week, man. Um, yeah, I, 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 I thought I had some gas on GJ this week. Um, the way I had this mark last night, I had a break and retest trade off um, <clears throat> the Asian high, break and retest of the Asian high last night. And I should have known once we uh, broke out, came back in, wasn't able to break above this high shit when I had closed. But, you know, I had faith in my man, GJ, but he let me down again, my friend. Trading in the range did not work for me. They got clapped. They got clapped. They got clapped. They got clapped. On the threats, on the charts, they got clapped. Um, but for the most part, what I was looking for from the weekend analysis, talk about some higher time frames. Oh, let's refresh that thing. Yeah, so the weekly was bearish. Look like it's going to going to retest demands on that push into the highs or to liquidate 49, 149, 200. We did not drop all the way down to the liquidity zone just yet. But um, my thought process here was with the high, low, lower high, lower low. You know, I was looking for some type of retracement to retest to the highs. Um, the way this is forming now, kind of like a little like a little head and shoulders action, but. Um, until you close bullish above 152, 244, <clears throat> man, you asking to get clapped, man. No trade range right here, man. Let it be, man. Let me see what I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 152, 237. So all this bullish, it looked like bullish momentum. I'd be a week all the way up there like these kind of right here. And then just pull back on you. Hey, stomach bug, man. So I don't need to, you know, hop in them type of trades because, you know, overall the higher time frames, Weekly and the uh, daily is bearish if you take it from the main swings, um, swing highs and swing lows, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So naturally in the uh, <clears throat> trading cycle, we should be looking for a lower high to take the market lower if it's going to do that. But if you start to see some action like this, you know, price close above and then retest and then scoop the doodle and start making higher highs and higher lows, you best be careful trying to short that market once you get right here because I didn't see you know what I'm saying? I ain't react on you and then boom, back up to the top. So um for, o- overall, this area right up here is lower how that pushed you into these lows. So price has the uh right to do whatever the hell it wants, really. But you know, in the trading scheme, when you're trying to get your psychology right, price can pull all the way back up to 155, 244. Do I think it's gonna do that? Nah. Do I want it to do that? Hey, do what it wants, you know. If it's making higher highs and higher lows and catch you a high low and get busy. But Overall, it's bearish. I'm looking for the bears. I'm um, looking for the shorts, um, especially with this big ass liquidity zone down here. Looking left on the higher time frames. Um, let me go through my trade from uh, what was it Sunday night, Monday night. Okay, so for the most part, like I said, um, I was looking for price action to push higher. You know, to give a, um, a lower high on the higher time frame. So once I saw a price action um, open up and then come back down and create this Asian low. I said, okay, well, respect that was, or uh, support that was created last week, um, uh, price action respected that support down there and started to push back bullish. So what I said was, okay, you know, as we started to make higher highs and higher lows, look for the lower time frame uh, structure shift. On a higher time frame, I don't think it was real pretty, but what I saw was the high, the low, you know, this could potentially, you know, lower time frame, lower high, and it really gave me a lower low. But, um, yeah, it just didn't work out for me. Um, no excuses. Um, I didn't know. Uh, I think I, let me see. This, no, this wasn't the one. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So, um, on this one, yeah, I was just looking for the lower high to be created. Coming out of the Asian session, um, hoping that, uh, London says it was going to continue bullish, and as you can see, for the most part, just consolidated, came back, smacked on the stops. I don't think I got hit for a full 62, though. Let me, let me check that. Or oh, maybe I did. Yeah, I think I did, because that was the one that, yeah. I think I got, because I had, this as a, uh, I want to say it was a buy stop. And then I got activated during the London and woke up to a club session. Let me go back and pull it up right now. Hold on. Let's see what we get. 
Um, if it stays above, then we potentially could go back bullish. If it breaks below, then you know, lower high and get active. Um, on the four H, how it looks. Uh, one price opened up um, on Sunday. I saw that the high that I already had marked out, price just pushed right on through that thing. So I don't know what shit. If he's gonna go, I'm gonna go with him. You figure deal me? I ain't just gonna sit back and just watch him. So I had my agent session marked up. It pushed the ball that high. I waited. I waited. I said, okay, well, if it's going to keep bullish, let me see if I can find a zone looking left. That price um, rejected previously because uh, <clears throat> initially I was expecting just to come out and drop, just drop and retest, give us a retest. But guess what? It didn't give us that. It gave us some bias. So your boy hopped in on bias and caught <clears throat> a little bit of drawdown, 24 pip TP on um, 14 uh, pip stop loss setup on that one. Um, and then back over here, what made me want to start taking shorts right over here was. Uh, on our time frame, I saw that we broke structure. Simply, that's what made me start looking for the shorts. If you, you know, trading cycle high, higher, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, boom, boom, two structures broken. So, slight little retest. Mm, don't worry about that. We want, we going into the Asian session last night. I said, I want to see if the Asian session open up and push and give me a high first. I'm taking the first short opportunity I get. And as you can see, Bing bang caboodle, um, TP is hit there. This morning during the NY session, pretty much the same idea. Still making lower lows and lower highs. Um, yeah, as I was watching it, if uh, and I was seeing, I was like, okay, well, if we don't close above this little white zone I got right here, as it starts to come back down, give me a retest and I'm in there. Um, I actually took it based off of this candle closing below the support right here. And I just got in as uh, this candle pulled back and then just came straight down. Um, pretty much, um, I saw this candle right here. I was like, yeah, it's a good chance we could potentially, you know, have a clean ride at least down to this area. If it keeps going, then you know, potentially this was this is the move I'm waiting on tonight. But if this move would have kept going today during the NY, I just would have missed it because I was just trying to capture, you know, a quick little pivotage in and out just to see, you know, psychology right and on point. But for the most part, <clears throat> when you look at this from the higher time frame. We haven't really broken any major structures simply because these levels, um, I wouldn't expect any major support to be formed here. Um, I got this little ghost level marked up right here. So if we break and close below this level, uh, 72,377, then I would start to consider this market to start to push bearish. At this point, I'm still considering the bulls. I'm still trying to get a bulls and shot. But right now, it ain't looking good for them boys, and that's why I'm taking shorts. If the market shorten, I'm shorting. Damn all that trying to catch the bottom shit. Damn, I'm trying to get, oh, we going back? No, smack. Oh, we going back? No, smack. Let me go ahead and get that. Let me get in. So 3-0 and on AU this week, 0-2 uh, on GJ. I had another trade on GJ on a different account. Um, I forgot what the entry was, but I didn't plot it on here. Um, just kind of going back and seeing what, other, what the other charts look like. Mm. Was expecting a retest and market open on DXY. Still haven't seen that retest yet. Price action just pushed bullishly. Um, that's pretty much what that looks like. Uh, over to UJ. What we had to sit on UJ. UJ, we said, okay, consolidating, waiting for the break and retest. Um, I think this right here is manipulation. I think that's going to drop. But, you know, it's bullish. It could keep going. Uh, because of four is consolidating, we'll analyze lower than this time frame, just wait for a breakout. Yep. So if we break out, come back, retest, and then push back bullish, potentially, that could be it. But I don't trust UJ like that. UJ be acting funny with the money sometimes because you see he's pushing bullishly right now. Today, Tuesday, you come back Wednesday night, that baby way down here, you know what I'm saying, setting up for buyers to go back positive. So um, keep an eye on that. If you don't get the break and the retest above this zone right up here, 115.817, if it start closing back below, 115.817, you bound to get cooked on the boss. Hop over to GU. <clears throat> Want to see how the price actually reacts here first. Didn't even make it. Just came out and dropped. Weekly was bearish. Daily was bearish. Forage was bearish. Find you a lower high and get busy. Um, If you were following this on the um, lower time frame, you know, a uh, high area, low, lower high. Um, Some other lower, low, lower high, lower, low, lower high, lower, low, and then consolidation. So, um, I want to see how price action reacts to this bearish continuation zone because if it comes up and stalls out, give me some candle action like this right here, potentially could catch a short, you know, 
breaking and retesting. Oh, I can't tell you where it's going. I don't really follow GU like that. I just have it marked up because I know people that do. So uh, if, if I see something clear, though, like I said, if I would have seen it come back to this zone and throw me some wicks, like some pattern like this right here, uh, with a 15-minute structure shift, I'm active. You know, but sometimes GU don't play like I want to play, so I just let it run. Like for this, um, over the Euro JPY weekly open, we was expecting that big pullback. It did not do that. It just dropped, and now it is pulling back. So, um, we have a zone potentially we could respect one twenty six nine twenty four. Keep your eye out for one twenty six nine twenty four. If it closes above that zone. The next zone is really, really close, 127, 318. So two zones pretty close back to back, I would expect, based off of experience. So manipulate the fuck out of this first zone and go right to that second zone and get active to the downside. Um, you can. Hmm, continuation bias played out. Yeah. Um, I didn't have a clue of what this really was going on the weekend outlook. All I had was a bullish channel. So I had... <clears throat> Uh, major support slash resistant SR flip zone in the white right here. I knew if we closed below 1.255.35, we could have caught some shorts. Um, attenuation buys simply just following the higher, high, um, higher low format. Um, if you go down to the 15 minute, definitely could have potentially had a setup. Um, it didn't actually come back and actually retest and tap that zone, but if you follow E uh, UCAT, then you know highs and lows, baby, highs and lows. But the guns and the bottom, baby, you know about the guns and the bottom. I'm just going out do again. I just left out the gym pre workout, still running through my veins, so you know you got to work with it. But that's all I got for this one. I'm gonna remark the shit out of these charts because they are looking a little confusing. Um, DJ, I ain't got no love for DJ right now. I do see we are in a bullish channel right now. Uh, if we delete all the fuckery, y'all not already seen the trade, so I can get rid of this. And I can get rid of, oh, I was so mad with that, bro. Man, I was heated. Four stars hit. But um, I do see a little bullish channel starting to build up. Let me see if I can outline that for you. For you, yes. You know us? Don't you know? But yeah, so you know, a little bullish channel starting to build up. So um, overall, higher time frames are bearish. Higher time frames, we are looking for a lower high. There's nothing in the book that say this area where we consolidate in can't be the lower high. Fix them. You know what I'm saying? See what you got right here. There's nothing in the books that say you got to have that big ass pullback. Once price actually start doing that pullback, then yeah, you know, mm -mm, get in. But that same type motion you get a little high and boom to the downside so be careful um yeah be careful if you got questions drop a comment if you got answers drop a comment if you think you know what dj going to a you going drop a comment let your boy know what you think i'm out